Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest that don't for someone else to appreciate. Capiche, capiche. Listen, y'all, I hope you enjoyed your turkey day yesterday. Um, I know I did. I ate a lot of food. I ate a little too much, but it's okay. Listen, y'all. Um, yesterday, I channeled a lot of songs, okay? I debated on whether I wanted to go live yesterday as well. Like, I was almost going to do it. And then I was like, nah. <laughs> I was, it's, yeah. I was in my robe. I was all cozy and... I chose to stay cozy. Listen, y'all, I don't know if you can feel it in the energy, but I know I can, okay? For a lot of you, um, there's some sort of big release that is occurring right now. I feel for certain people who are on a certain timeline, okay, on their journey, there is some sort of big release that is occurring right now. There's a lot of um, soul ties that are being broken. There's a lot of uh, cords that are being cut and, and being released, like, indefinitely because of some sort of because you le learned a lesson because this cycle is closing okay and i feel like because of this final release and you passed some sort of test here or broke some sort of generational curse um it has like these demons these entities um really hungry for your energy or really trying to um i don't want to say tempt you let me use these i don't want to say tempt you but this is like these entities want to find a way to like reattach to you or just like feed off of you but i feel like they can't so these are entities that could be trying to jump into other people around you in order to try to feed off you in some way or try to get you to um entertain these entities these things or try to get you to um have these cords these energetic cords be reattached okay um for a lot of y'all you could be noticing like demons within other people that are getting um you could tell like these demons are getting desperate they're getting rowdy it's like it's a rowdy energy okay um it's like these de these entities these attachments that people have on them are are wanting to fight with you they wanna they want around with you in the ring okay is the vibe it's giving also you guys could also be noticing because i know i am that like the synchronicities is wild. They're getting wild. They're getting like, the other day I had like, I experienced something where it was just like, oh no, <laughs> this is like, this is not for like, this is not coincidence. Like, you know, when those moments happen, it kind of like freaks you out a little bit, a little bit, but it's not like a scary freak out. It's just kind of like, wow, um, we're in a simulation. Okay. That's just what it felt like. It felt like I had a Truman Show moment and um I feel like something about this reality is like fragile right now because energies are changing because frequencies are changing within uh, us people I feel like a lot of us who are ascending and our frequencies are rising and changing um it's 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 having an effect on the simulation of this planet of this earth uh the reality the energy um it's wild i also feel like this is really good too because it's like the f fragility fragility i don't know if that's even a word like the fragileness of like the reality um it's like an opportunity for you to like mold whatever reality you want for yourself. Um, it's like it's 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 malleable, malleable. 
something like that's going on also i had a dream about um being in my bathroom which it wasn't my bathroom it was someone else's bath bathroom but in my dream it was my bathroom right and on like above the mirror in the bathroom was these round lights like vanity lights and um i remember like washing my hands in the sink in this bathroom in my dream and then i looked up and one of the bulbs um went out and then when i reached when i tried to reach to touch the bulb that went out then the one next to it went out too so it's like and then I woke up from my dream. But it was kind of like, to me, what it felt like is like, there's somebody here who, whose light is going out, their bulb is going out, um, and it's causing other bulbs around this person to go out too. So someone here could be getting karma and other people around them are getting karma because of this person. Or you need to be aware of that. Maybe you got someone who has their bulb out trying to come towards you to get your bulb to go out too. Give me a second. That's what it feels like. So, um, I don't know. Be mindful of that. The bulb could be like metaphoric or symbolic of um, something here. Maybe you guys are dealing with somebody whose um, spiritual connection has been severed or you guys could be dealing with somebody who's um, who doesn't have a soul anymore. Maybe they sold their soul or I don't know. Someone no longer has something. What I don't know. Whatever it is, you need to be mindful. I also was picking up uh, something here about collard greens. I don't know if you, maybe you just made collard greens. I don't know. Uh, but something about collard greens are significant. Um, I know there's like healing properties to collard greens, but I don't know. Something about collard greens is significant. And something here about a broom. Some of you need to get a new broom or some of you need to sweep some sort of energy out of your life this could be a person place thing this could be a mindset this could be the way you're perceiving something whatever it is it needs to be swept out okay so i kept hearing this song from lady gaga um applause 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 Do -do 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 -da 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 -da. okay you know the song I kept hearing that song and it, it it was giving me the feeling of like someone here is about to get their flowers okay um, you're about to get some sort of recognition here for some sort of hard work or because you learned a lesson or you broke some sort of generational curse or whatever, okay? I also feel like um, maybe this is like you needing to pat, um, maybe you need to pat uh, your own back. Hold on. Your ancestors also want you to know that they are very much proud of you, Okay. Maybe that's something you're unsure of, okay? There's no, you don't need to be unsure. They are proud of you. Or this is why you're going to be receiving some sort of flowers, reward, recognition is because your ancestors are proud of you. You are doing what you, what they want you to do. Um, you're helping bringing in something new into the, your bloodline. I also was hearing this song, um, What is it called? It goes, um, this is the story of a girl da -da 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 -da, around the world. Something, something, photographs. I absolutely love her. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. Let's, <laughs> let's figure out what the lyrics are before, before I continue. Okay, hold on. Right here. This is the story of a girl. Da, 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 world. So there could be something here about like the story of your life. Maybe you need to write a book about the story of your life. Okay. Are there something here like with 
the your life like the story of your life is going to change like you're going to a whole brand new chapter and this is something that you may not even see coming or whatever this new chapter entails is something that you may not have even fathom for your own self okay um I also feel like there's somebody here who keeps breaking through your protection or they're trying to break through your protection. And it's like, for some of you, this person has like um, succeeded in some way and has made some sort of crack, but they still can't go through. So there, I don't know, there's, some, there's a need to up your protection right now or to strengthen, okay, your protection. I don't think they're going to be able to get, they're not going to be able to break through, but I just feel like, I don't know. Something's happening. What is this called? Okay, so the, I, I guess it's by a band called Nine Days. Um, something might be happening between now and Nine Days. The song is called Absolutely Story of a Girl. Nine Days. Um, let me look at my calendar. Nine days. Where are we? The 29th? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So December 8th, Immaculate Conception. I don't know what that means. December 8th could be significant. That's nine days from now, if I counted correctly. Um, the song goes, this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. And she looks so, <laughs> there's an ad. And she looks so sad in photographs. I absolutely love her when she smiles. Okay, so um, I know that was horrible. It doesn't matter. Listen, <laughs> this is somebody, somebody here loves when you smile or something. Maybe, I don't know. It says how many days in a year she woke up with hope, but she only found tears. And I can be so insincere. and I can be so insincere, making her promises never for real. As long as she stands there waiting, wearing the holes in the sh in the soles of her shoes, how many days disappear when you look in the mirror? So how do you choose? Holy shit! Listen, y'all. Somebody here wanted to rewrite your story for your life. You guys got somebody here who was really hoping that you'll always be stuck in some sad girl, sad dude um, loop. Somebody always wanted you to be crying. Somebody always wanted you to be sad about something, disappointed about something. I feel like whoever you are, you're breaking free from this weird ass cycle. And you, this entity is mad because you're not this sad bitch or sad dude. Okay. Um... And I also feel like somebody here was, was like it says, giving you empty promises or trying to get you to hold on to hope or hold on to something that was never going to occur. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody was like gaining energetically off of you waiting around for them or hoping that they're going to change or hoping that they're going to um, give you something that you want when they weren't going to give it to you at all it says your clothes never wore wait it says your clothes never wear as well the next day and your hair never falls in quite the same way you never seem to run out of things to say <clears throat> it says this is the story of the girl who grabbed a river and drowned the whole world and while she looks so sad in photographs i absolutely love her when she smiles <laughs> My stomach. okay it says now how many um lovers would say wait now how many lovers would stay just to put up with this shit day after day now how did we wind up this way watching our mouths for the words that we say as long as we stand here waiting wearing the clothes or the souls that we chose how do we get there today when we're walking too far from the price of our shoes Oh my god. Listen. Don't I don't know who this is. But somebody need to walk away. It says your clothes never wear as well as the next day. Blah 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 blah. 
Somebody wanted and then it okay. Then it says the last chorus says, This is the story of a girl, a pretty face she hid from the world. And while she looks so sad and lonely there, I absolutely love her. Somebody loves it when you're somebody loved it when you were sad, lonely, hiding your face, hiding from the world, or this is the energy that somebody really wants you to be in. I don't know. This is somebody here who loves you, but they hate you. It's like somebody here wants to like only have you for themselves. Like somebody wants you to only smile at them. Somebody wants you to only be happy because they're in your life. Like somebody wants to be your only source of happiness. This is fucking sick. Okay, so this could be the entity or the demon, okay? This is this is something here that's lusting after you. This is like a sexual thing. This thing is sexual. Maybe something was trying, this entity was trying to train you to only wait around for this thing to come around and feed off of you or something. I don't know what this is, but it was working through other people, people who were just giving you empty promises, um telling you what you want to hear or whatever this is deep hold on this is changing whatever this is though it's changing i feel like somebody real mad though or this entity is real mad it's giving dungeon vibes like somebody wanted to lock you up in a in a dungeon This is giving Disney character vibe. Like storybook. We're getting to this part of the story where you are getting your victory. Like the the protagonist is is going to get their win. Uh, something like that is going on and the evil villain is like not happy about it at all. This is what it's giving. Somebody here wants you to feel like the good guy never wins in the end, but they always do. Something about illusions are being casted. Nine days. We do have a um we do have a new moon coming up here soon. So I think that's tomorrow. I think it's happening tomorrow for some of you, depending on what part of the world you're on. So, um, for some of you, it's tomorrow. For another set of you, it's Monday or something. Not tomorrow. Sunday or Monday. The 30th. No, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Somebody's looking at your photograph too. Someone keeps staring at you. Hoping and wishing to see you cry. Somebody wants you to be sad. Or someone's hoping that you're sad. Somebody wants you to regret walking away from them. Somebody wants you. Somebody just wants to see that you're not happy without them being in your life or something like this. Or someone's been trying to convince themselves that you're not happy without them. Or they want to come in and convince you. Maybe this is something that's going to be happening for y'all. Maybe somebody wants to convince you that you're not happy without them or with the choice that you've made. Or somebody wants you to feel like you going down um, your path of healing, your journey, your spiritual journey. They want you to feel like you're making the wrong choice. Or they want to come in and convince you that you're not making the right choice we have heartache and loss that came out the deck like this so somebody either wants to put you in this heartache and pain energy or this is how these people are feeling or it's both they are feeling sad and heart heartbroken i was about to say heartless these are heartless motherfuckers acting like they have a heart like they're crying and they're sad about stuff Anyways, this is somebody here that didn't have a heart for you. They didn't care about when you was hurt or in pain. But now that they're hurt or in pain or they feel like they lost, um, they want to make you lost too. Or they want you to feel like you lost something. Or they want you to feel sad. Cry, cry. Okay.
sister seeds. As long as you have faith as strong or as strong as small as a, a, a mustard seed. Okay. Someone here is trying to kill your faith. This is so annoying. What's going on? What else is happening? Yeah, you're going to get a victory, Chow. Okay. I'm also getting for some of y'all, if you do end up um, experiencing some sort of heartache or loss or something here, just know right around the corner is a fucking victory. Okay. Or this is your reminder that you're going to overcome this. Or somebody's just mad that you overcome this. This is something that could have happened in the past because this is in the past position. So you guys could have experienced some sort of heartache and loss in the past. And you've overcome it. You overcome, you overcame some sort of pain or you've healed from this. Whatever it is, somebody's real mad about it. They want you to be a sad bitch. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I've been receiving um, comments um, underneath some of my old videos, and then people writing like, "Oh, I missed it when I missed your old videos. I missed it when you were with your old videos." And I'm just like thinking in my head, like, "You missed when I was working three jobs. You missed when I was, you know, fighting my way to." You know, find the energy to post a reading. You you miss when um what? When I'm struggling, that's what you miss? You miss my struggle? I don't know, something like that could be happening. Um someone here could be 37 years old. This could be you or someone else. Uh someone here could be born in 1973. All right. Maybe that's what you guys are dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with... And by the way, I don't know if that person was like... I don't know if you were intentionally being shady or not, okay? But I'm, I'm just using your comment as an example or comments, truly. Um, there's something here about your solar plexus chakra. Because earlier I said my stomach, okay? So something about your confidence, your willpower, your ability to continue to persevere, your courage... Um, how you perceive yourself, the fact that you believe in yourself, someone does not fucking like. Maybe in the past you didn't, you had a lot more doubt within you. And now that has time has gone on, you have become more certain about who you are, where you're headed, what your destiny entails, your life purpose. And someone here just don't fucking like it. Because I feel like when you had a little bit of doubt or a lot more doubt within you in the past, Someone had a better chance at manipulating you, beguiling you, throwing you off your path, using you, and they no longer could do that. So now they're mad. This is the vibe it's giving. Someone's name is Diane, Diana, Jimmy, Jim, Jenna. This could be your names or someone else's name. Someone's name is Nathan, Natalie, Nadine, something. Brian. It's 2.11 on the clock. Let's look it up. Something about the year 2012 is significant. This could have, this could be somebody here who's been uh, wanting you to be sad since 2012. Or this is somebody here that made you sad in 2012. And they didn't want you to get over that sadness. How long ago is that? 20, what are we, 2024 right now? Minus 12, 12 years ago? That was 12 years ago, right? I'm not good with the math, okay? Something about a 12-year cycle is wrapping up for you. You guys could be seeing 12-12 a lot. Somebody here mad about it. Somebody was hoping that they can continue to get you to be all fucking hung up and sad about some shit that happened 12 years ago. Or whatever entity is attached to somebody that you were with back in 2012. That entity is mad because it's being finally released. Ciao. Somebody thought like something was an absolute. Like something was going to continue to be an absolute thing in your life. And it's changing for the better for you. What was I looking up? Two, two, one, one. I'm also getting a thing too that you guys really do need to like keep.
keep moving in silence because yesterday I kept getting urges to like um go live and I never really go live and I'm talking about like not just for the live readings club I'm like talking about going live like on you know the the main channel and I kept feeling this feeling of like somebody wanting that to happen because they want to see how the layout of my house is like I don't I don't know like I was like maybe I should go live you know in the kitchen what for what I don't know it's just it's giving <laughs> Somebody wants to know too much information about you, okay? They could be using magic in order for you to do that or something. Or there's someone's trying to do magic for you to, like, um, reveal something. Someone thinks you're hiding something and they want you to reveal it. Whatever that may be, okay? Okay, let's keep going. Um, yeah, let's use this one. Angel number 211 is a message not to be hindered by old patterns and habits that are in need of change. It asks you to look upon new experiences with optimism as they will bring about positive effects and favorable opportunities. It also helps with achieving your goals and aspirations and allow for the old to be replaced with the new. You got to sweep out that old so that new can come in. Okay, says angel number 211 is a message to pay attention to your reoccurring thoughts about yourself and your life. Even when it comes to your thoughts, if you guys keep thinking about past shit that happened like a bajillion years ago, tell your brain we're done with that. We're moving forward. Unless it's something that like you need to purge, like maybe it's something that needs to come back up to the surface so you can look at it and whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? That's for some of you, not all y'all. But if you're ruminating on some some past shit you gotta fucking switch it up babe okay um you gotta switch it up because that's that can't come with you to this new beginning that you've been so desperately wanting to fucking have because you're tired of the karmics you're tired of the bullshit you're tired of the games you're tired i understand stop ruminating over the dumb shit it says angel number um 211 is a message to pay attention to your reoccurring thoughts blah 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 it says your thoughts and beliefs are manifesting at a rapid rate therefore ensure your focus on desired outcomes only when you hold positive thoughts and optimistic outlook and high expectations, you receive wonderful opportunities and experiences in your life. Angel number 211 is a message from your angels that you are on your divine life path and are going in the right direction. Have faith and trust that wonderful opportunities will lead to happiness and personal fulfillment for you. It says your angels encourage, support, and surround you. Angelic messages will always be heard in divine right time. Listen to your intuition inner wisdom and higher self and you will hear them listen to your heart that's for some of you not all y'all listen i don't know what this is but this energy feels good to me okay and there's like and this, this i don't it's it's ravenous something is like <sighs> <laughs> like it's like it wants you dude it's fucking creepy this could be somebody who has who had an attachment like a succubus or incubus attachment that is finally being released that's what it's giving because it's like someone has some sort of obsession with you but it's not because they love you it's like an obsession it's like a, it's, it's sexually based it's not love and at the same time, this thing hates you, like the same thing this person admires you about or that they admire, they hate, they hate and they want to destroy. You know what it's giving? Whoever this individual is, they definitely got an entity attachment to them. Some Something that plays with their thoughts or tempts their thoughts or something, something about intrusive thoughts. Somebody here, um, it's like when they look at you, they look at you as like this... Uh, this perfectly frosted decorated cake and and this these intrusive the intrusive thoughts keep coming through their head that's telling them to put their hand on on you on you the cake and like mess it up like 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 the cake you look so good that it's like i want to mess it up that's what somebody that's what somebody wants to do. 
They see your beauty. They see your potential. They see, you know, all the work you have done. They see, they see the effort being made, but they want to destroy it, though. It's weird. You're dealing with a weird one, okay? This is someone who wants to partner up with you or they want you to trust them. It says partnerships and alliances. Or this is somebody here you once were in a relationship with. But wow. Confirmation. We have suffering in silence. So somebody here definitely is suffering in silence here, chow. Someone here could be born in 79. Someone here could be born uh, in 1993, 1997. Ooh, we got heart chakra in reverse. Um, yeah, like I said, someone's heartless. They don't have a heart or someone's going to, someone might come towards you trying to say that you're heartless because you don't want them back into your freaking life. I got to go. Let me, I got to tinkle. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. You know what else I'm getting? Some of you really need to have a deep conversation with the most high, with God, with source, with your spirit guides, your ancestors, and you need to let them know what you want, okay? Um, some of you, like, your spirit team is just waiting for you to give them the green light to, to banish this person out of your energy or this entity out of your energy. You need to, you need to proclaim this. You need to affirm it. You need to let them know, okay? Somebody, somebody needs to speak the fuck up. Um... Someone here could be a life path three, seven, nine, or four. Because if you speak up, the, the word is the word is yours. Does this make sense? It's for your justice. I can't make this up. We got we got truth at the bottom of the deck. It's for your justice, child. The number 33 could be significant. Because you have some sort of, ad, you've overcome some sort of challenge or adversity here, so or you've healed some sort of pain, some deep-rooted pain here within you, somebody here is suffering in silence because of it. I'm also getting somebody wants your heart chakra to be blocked, or someone's in denial that you've healed or that you're finally moving on or a cycle's over. It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Or maybe there's a need for you to be aware about something. Okay? We have grief here. It says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay? Maybe this is somebody here who was in denial of the truth of how they felt about you. Okay? And now they're in grief or something here. We got purpose right after that. It says, I know what I am here to do. Maybe somebody's in grief and in denial that you are in your purpose. Maybe somebody was going around saying that, you, or this is someone here that wants to say that you're not in alignment with your purpose. We got two, two, two on the clock. Somebody wants to come in and convince you that you're not on course. Somebody, this is, please keep this person away from you. Like I said, this is the person that wants you to be sad. This is the story of a girl who cried a, who cried a river and drowned the whole world. The, the way your emotions are set up, okay, it directly affects the, the world. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know. Maybe when you get sad, it starts crying. It starts crying. The sky starts crying. It starts raining or something. Or when you're angry, earthquakes occur. I don't know. Or it's a certain collective of people when they're in a certain frequency it affects the earth the planet the weather something she looks so sad in photographs i absolutely love her when she smiles i'm also getting you guys could have somebody here that wants to cheer you up okay they love it when you smile they want to make you happy but i don't know is it or maybe that's what they're going to come in and tell you. They want to make you happy and some other shit. Um, why do we have hearts and loss? So just be, use your intuition, please. Whoever I'm speaking to, you need to, it's really important for you to use your intuition at this time. We have anxiety. 
Okay, maybe there's some form of fear or anxiety that could be going on here. Maybe you were in fear or an anxiety of being alone. Okay, and you're no longer in that energy. You have overcome the fear of being alone, dying alone, living alone, doing life alone. I feel like whoever you are, you're pretty satisfied with whatever you got going on. Let me see. And somebody wants to come in and convince you that you're lonely or... Uh, I, I don't know or they want to come in and convince you that if you continue going down the path that you're on that you're not gonna you're not gonna find somebody here or something like this or these are like certain thoughts that someone keeps trying to send you and they want you to believe or some shit like this, what is this? the devil is a lie yeah, somebody here wanted you to be haunted by the past. Somebody here wanted you to be stuck in the past. Somebody here wanted you to be, um, you know, always sitting there being sad about something that happened 12 years ago. So they could always have some sort of attachment to you. They could have access to you. We have settling. Whoever this person is, this individual from your past, they're afraid. Because they know you are not in this energy of settling with them. Maybe they want to come in and convince you to settle down with them or some shit like this. Or to settle for less. This is someone here who's not going to even commit to you. This is someone who wants to continue to keep you waiting. This is someone who's jumping out in front of you and while you're trekking along on your on your path, your divine, your divinely guided path, and they're just jumping out, darting out in front of you being like, "Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait." Um I'm, let me propose this to you. Uh, do you mind waiting for me? I mean, I'm not ready to marry you. I'm not ready to really, you know, commit anything with you. But, you know, let me sell you a dream. That's the vibe is giving. Yeah, somebody wants you to be a doormat. Somebody misses when, like I said before earlier, somebody misses when you were struggling. Somebody missed it when you had doubt within yourself. Somebody m misses when you your self-esteem was lower. When you lacked confidence within yourself. You When you lacked self-worth and value. Somebody liked it when you were blind to your value. My Lord. See how it says number 27 on here? Ciao. I think you learned the lesson when it comes to time wasters. I also feel like if you end up being with this person, ew, and it's 27 on the clock. I feel like if you end up being with this person, they're going to they're going to they're going to drag you down. They're going to slow you down when it comes to your ascension, when it comes to your life purpose. This is not good, whoever this individual is. Tell me more, spirit. I also feel like this could be someone who's married that's anxious about you healing from them or moving on or some shit like this. Why do we have um triumph? This person's fear this has this person has a fear of change. Okay? They they fear they have fear, okay, when it comes to you. Because things are gonna be changing in your life. Look, fear of change in reverse. And this is clarifying the triumph card. You're not fearful of anything. You're not fearful of moving forward. You're not fearful of certain challenges or whatever this is. Okay? Maybe somebody wants you to be stuck in an energy of being fearful of being in a, another relationship because they want you they they want you to feel like, "Oh, what if that person hurts me too?" Who cares? Okay? Somebody here wanted you to be bound and chained to some sort of pain. They wanted to disempower you or continue to have power over you. Okay? By using the energy of fear. And that's not what's happening no more. You're not fearing whatever this is. Why do we have triumph? Yeah, you're going to win in the fucking end. You're going to win, baby boo. And somebody mad about it is, chow. You're going to win. You're going to win. Somebody's so worried and scared about you winning. Okay? So right now, whoever you are, continue to be in a very courageous, brave energy. Don't back down. Somebody here wants you to be all sad and weird. Yeah, you got someone coming in, darting in front of you while you're on your path, trying to use love to block you, stop you, derail you. It says heart on their sleeve. And they got something up their sleeve. 
Someone here could be 43 years old. This could be you or someone else. Yeah, this person wants to come in and be insecure. What? Or, or insincere. Someone could be insecure. Or somebody wants you to be insecure. Child, this song. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. It really do. What did this song say? Where are you at? It says, um, how many days in a year? She woke up with hope, but she only found tears. And I can be so insincere, making her promises never for real. That's who you have coming in. This is the person that's mad. This is the person that's being released from your energy. This two-faced weirdo. This person that doesn't know whether they want to do the good thing or the bad thing. This is the person that wants to come in and say they, they mean you well, but they don't at all. This is someone here who's self-serving, selfish, probably a narc for some of you. This is someone here who wants to come in and make you promises only because they, they know that something's changing in your life or they know you're getting some sort of victory here. You broke some sort of cycle, chain, you learned some sort of lesson. Yeah, listen, whoever I'm speaking to right now, you have a lot of spiritual support right now. You guys could be seeing a hell of a lot of angel numbers. You guys could be experiencing a lot of synchronicities, okay? Whoever you are, it's like you are very much aligning with the universe. You're aligning with what you were meant to do in your sport, you're in the story of your life that God has written out for you. You are on target. Someone could work at Target. This could be you or someone else. But something about Target, okay? Or you or that's why you are a Target. Because you're right on, you're on path. Okay, you're, you're literally, you're, you, you guys are going to see a 333. Three, three. You're in alignment, baby. I'm also getting like, somebody wants you to do something to where like you lose spiritual support or that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to lose spiritual support. Like I said, somebody wants your light bulb to go out. This person could be um, losing a lot of shit. Maybe this person's lights went out. Maybe they can't pay for the light bill. Listen, I don't wish that upon nobody, okay? Um, but that could be a situation that's going on with this person. Maybe that's what they kept wishing and hoping for you. Trying to mess up your, your humble abode. Your home. The peace in your home. Or the functionality of your home. Or your, the way you live or something. 44 could be significant. You're lovable and you're deserving of love. Why do we have suffering in silence here? I'm also getting like somebody thinks that you're suffering, but you're not saying anything. What's this? Yeah, this is someone here who's starving for attention. Starves for attention and more. This is someone who's highly emotional. Someone here could be born um, 1992. This could be you or someone else. Or someone here could be 29. Or this person could be a life, a life path too. They starve for attention. Hmm. What is that song? I know it's by Blink-182. Yeah, this is the song. Okay, so this is a song by Blink-182. It's called Mutt. He pauses, he pauses shaving and he tells himself that he is a bomb. She has her curler set, her credit cards are play, paying the funds. He's not that old, I've been told. A strong sexual goal. She goes out every day. She goes every way. Oh, yeah. They don't even care at all. She's open waiting for more. 
And I know he's only looking to score. And it is way too unhealthy. Often they've typically been starved for attention before. What in the magical? <laughs> She smokes a dozen and she doesn't seem to notice the smell. He took the seat off his own bike because the way that it felt. This person likes it in the booty. This is the booty. This is the booty bandit. This is the booty lover. This is the person who likes it in the booty. This man. This insincere man. This person, the person likes sexually, they're not even into you. They're into something else going up their booty. Okay? Um... This could be about a karmic couple as well because it says she goes she goes out every day, she goes every way. Oh yeah. Like some I don't know. Or this is someone's sexual goal for you. They want you to be promiscuous. He could be old or she could be old, whoever this person is, because he's not that old. I've been told a strong sexual goal. No. This person I feel like mm, I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Maybe your energy has been keeping this old person healthy or vibrant youthful and now that this release is happening they're gonna be dwindling in their youthfulness like very quickly okay he wants to bone this i know she all she is ready to blow they go out every night his pants are super tight oh yeah they don't even care at all She is open, waiting for more. Okay, let me stop. Okay, I love you, Blink-182. Um, someone's name could be Mark or Travis. Don't have to be. Or Tom. The names of the people in the band. Someone could be in a band. This person wants to come in and tell you that you mean a lot more than a lot more to them than you think. I don't know. Or somebody needs ointment. This person this person may have some sort of disease whoever this insecure per, not insecure. I keep calling them insecure. This person could be insecure, okay? Whoever this person is who's coming in not being sincere to you. Whatever they're coming towards you with, they're not being sincere. And they may have something going on where they need ointment to put on their sexually transmitted disease, child. This person is starving for attention because they want your sexual energy. But baby, your security is locked up, baby. Your security is foolproof right here. Somebody here don't like that. They could be suffering in silence because they don't have your energy or they can't get into your energy a lot of songs today chow it says um laying on it laying laying it on thick someone's gonna come in and really try to smooth you baby zales the jewelry zales someone here might try to come in with some sort of jewelry expensive jewelry as well to try to to try to turn your, your, trying to get you to have your, a heart for the, a heart for them. They want you to have feelings for them, but you don't. I don't think you do. That's why they coming in with this energy. Something's completed. Someone, you guys could be dealing with an Aries. They could be born um, April 10th, or this is your birthday. Flip it where it needs to go. This is someone who wants to come in as a secret crush, but they don't, they don't have a heart or their heart chakra is blocked. Or they're, this could be someone who has no feelings for you. They're all coming in just to slow you down, to disempower you. What do we got, truth? Childish. Someone, someone's the truth about this person being childish or their childish ways or something that they did to you that was childish is about to come out. The truth about that's going to come out, and this person's going to crash. Someone's going to crash out. Someone's going to lose their shit. Okay. Or someone's trying to get you to crash and burn. Or they're trying to get something that you're building to be something that crashes and burns. Like I said, you look like a really well-decorated, delicious cake. And somebody's intrusive thoughts, which is a demon talking to them, is, is trying to get them to mess up your cake. You. Ciao.
This is someone who's holding a grudge. Man, are these readings? Listen, I can't make this up. Somebody really is holding a grudge against you. They can't stand your ass. And they got a demon that, that they're listening to that's making them, trying to convince them to, to destroy you in some way. Someone here could be a life path nine. This could be you or them. Or someone here could be a Virgo. Someone here could be born September 16th. Someone here could be a Pisces. You could be born um, March 9th or something. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Why do we have um, truth? She's only working for school. And it is way too unhealthy. Often it's typically... Someone's unhealthy spiritually, physically. Someone's intimidated by your victory or your ability to overcome challenges. Your ability to break through any form of adversity or obstacles that come your way. Someone here really underestimated you. Someone didn't think you had something in you or they didn't think they had you had it. I don't know. Somebody's dumb. Okay, they were believing some sort of lie or illusion or somebody here is in fucking denial, bro. Someone's in denial that you have overcame something or you've healed from something or someone. Someone thinks that you're still holding on for to them or you're still waiting for them or something like this. You're holding out for their return. No, it's called the dating pool is trash. That's what I'm just doing. No, you're waiting for somebody, you're waiting for God, God to send you someone, okay? You've already learned the lesson of picking the people that you want. It doesn't work out. You're waiting for God to send you your person. Suffering in silence. Trauma. So somebody here who's starving for attention, okay? They could be acting out of a place of trauma, or you guys could be noticing that you could be acting out of a place of trauma or something. There's a need to, you know, handle that, okay? That can't come with you into the new. Um, I'm also getting, like, this is someone here that wants to create dr drama and trauma in your life. Because they don't feel good about themselves. Misery loves company. That's what's going on. And they want your attention. And they're mad because they can't get your attention. We have overachiever at the bottom of the deck. This also could be somebody here who's trying their best to get you to... Um, somebody wants you to burn out is another thing that I'm getting. But other than that, I feel like... Um, what was I going to say? This person is working very hard. They're doing a lot in order to try to cause you to suffer in some way. They're doing a lot. They could be picking up the phone, calling different people, maybe certain connections that they have in order to try to utilize them to cause you some sort of suffering or whatever it is. Heartache, or not heartache, what is this called? Heart chakra, laying in all this. Old habits, sadness. Somebody here wants you to be, somebody wants you to go back to some sort of old pattern, old programming, old mindset. Somebody wants you to be sad, like I said. Somebody misses it when you were sad. They want you to be this sad person again. Somebody really wants you to be sad. Or somebody here wants to create a situation to where you will be sad and then you will go back to old old habits that aren't good for you. Like maybe somebody wants you to go back. This could be this entity that's attached to this person that wants to feed off your energy. It's like this could be a situation where you broke the cycle of like overeating or something or drinking, or doing drugs, and this thing is trying to create some sort of trauma for you, or trying to trigger some sort of trauma which in, within you, or something like that, or pain, so that you could go back to some sort of old pattern, old habit, do something unhealthy, go have reckless sex, I don't know, something, something like that is going on. Or this person who wants to come in and lay it on thick, they have, they, they have um, really unhealthy habits here. Whether it's somebody here has a sex addiction, some sort of substance abuse problem, whatever it is, they have issues. They're, they are the ones that are disempowered. 
they're not fully in control of their own vessel, whoever this person is. And they want to come towards you because they're mad because you changed for the better. You changed because you loved yourself and somebody else hasn't. And they're just, I don't know, someone wants to bring you down. They want to make you crash and burn. They're trying to, they're doing something real childish. This is someone who's in heavy competition with you. We have criticism in reverse. This is someone here who can't find something to really criticize you about. That's why they need to come closer to you. Or whatever their criticisms are, they're just like made up shit. This could be somebody in your family, okay? Or this is about, this is, we're talking about a generational curse here. Maybe someone's mad because you broke some sort of generational curse here and they're still, they're still wrapped up in it. Somebody's upset about your voice or you speaking out about something or you something, you're communicating something or you said something to someone, you spoke something out about this person or to this person and they've been holding a grudge against you ever since. Let's find out who this person is fear or death they've been wanting to sentence you to death for what child please this is somebody here who feels like you need to everything needs to end in your life because you hurt their feelings this person's a fucking baby holy spirit holy angels what's going on this is a crybaby bitch you're dealing with a crybaby bitch this is a man or a woman who's in this crybaby bitchery that's happening okay Grow the fuck up. Who is this person upset about you? What you say or you said? This is a Scorpio that's mad. It's crybaby bitch. They want revenge. This person could be born in the 1980s. It could be an 80s baby. This could be you or them. Who's this crybaby? This person could have moles or freckles. Okay. This could be someone who's hypersexual. Okay. Maybe you, maybe you said this person got an attachment on them and they didn't like that you exposed their weird ass demon on them. We have vegetarian. This could be a Scorpio that has, who's a vegetarian. Can you tell me more? This could be someone who's always watching you, but they don't want you to know that it's them watching you, but you know that they're watching you. We have glasses. Okay. So this person could wear glasses. This person could have brown eyes. Okay. This person could be a player. This is somebody here that made you feel like you weren't worthy or they that's their whole MO is to get you to lower your self-esteem, to make you feel like you're not, you ain't shit or something like that. It's only because they don't feel like they are the shit. Or maybe this is someone who thinks that they are the shit. He pauses shaving and he tells himself that he is the bomb. This could be someone who's really into themselves. And someone's just upset because they don't understand why you're not into them as much as they're into themselves. We have musical. This music. This person could be musically inclined. This could be you or them. And then we have parental. This could be somebody that you co-parent with. Don't have to be. Who's this? Let me use the other ones. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this person in competition, child? Being childish as fuck. Who's this person in competition? This is a man with a beard who's in competition with y'all. We got a new connection or this person's planning on getting into a competition or fighting against your new person. Tell me more. This is someone who karmic as hell. We got karmic. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the horse. This could be you or them. Someone here could be a Gemini or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart or this is an ex-lover of yours who's karmic. Okay, and they've been in competition with you. They've been doing a lot of childish things, but you're about to get justice for this. Someone here could be spreading a lot of illusions about you, a lot of lies about you, and the truth about you is going to come true, or not come true, but it's going to come out, okay? Maybe you, maybe you asked for something, and it's going to come true, okay? Maybe you asked for this person, maybe you just asked for justice, it's coming, okay? Somebody's mad about how strong you are. You guys definitely could be dealing with someone who's super um, superficial or something. Why do they have competition? We got Aries. You guys could be dealing with someone who's an Aries. Or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. We got Leo. You guys could be dealing with a Leo who's in competition with you. Or you're a Leo. Flip where needs to go. We got Soulmate. This could be a friend, a family member, or an ex. 
We got Virgo. This could be a Virgo here who's in competition with you. Or you're a Virgo. Flip what needs to go. We got Tiger. This, we're gonna have, this person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. This is someone here who wants to be the leader. I want to be the leader. I want to be the I want to be the chief. I want to be the one in charge. But it's like you th uh, this person doesn't have the qualities. This person's still acting like a fucking child. And I'm not talking about like them being childlike. This is somebody here who's who the, the decisions that they make are very childish. It's very self-centered. It's very, I'm getting my way no matter what. It's very, I'm not looking at this decision for the good of everyone. This person, this person doesn't know how to lead. They don't care. They're selfish. They're, they're, this is, someone here is narcissistic. They could be a Libra or they could have Libra somewhere in their, somewhere in their chart. Or you do. Flip more needs to go. Not your mama, not your daddy. But yeah, this is, this is the person. This person, somebody knows something here is going to end. Or someone's trying to put a death to your voice or your ability to speak or some shit. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen, baby. Let's get out Big Bertha. So we get the gist of the situation. Somebody holding on to a grudge. They're gonna come in trying to be um, acting like they, they sincere about some shit. But all they want to do is have sexy time. Blah, blah, blah. Someone's hoping you're still in denial about something. <clears throat> Or somebody's trying to find a way where you won't deny them. Oh my god, I'm hearing a lot of songs. Okay, let me keep going. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do they need to hear at this time for the highest good? Listen, this is Big Bertha. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Big Bertha is wild. Take Big Bertha with a grain of salt. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What do we need to hear at this time for the highest good? We have girlfriend, Okay. Something about somebody's girlfriend could be involved in this situation. You could have been this person's girlfriend or this person wants to come in and say, will you be my girlfriend? They have a lot of, um, you have a lot of eyes on you or this person has a lot of eyes on them or something like that. Or people is watching or something here about monitoring, hovering or familiar spirits that you need to rebuke in the mighty name of Jesus. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius cusp could be of significance. Okay. We got the movie for Scump. Somebody here could have that HIV. Tell me more spirit. I just kept running. You need to just keep running from this person. Please and thank you. You have definitely achieved the impossible in this person's eyes. Okay, so continue doing that. We have forged signature. Someone here, somebody's girlfriend could have forged some sort of signature. Or when you were in a relationship with this person, they may have gotten, they were able to forge your signature on something. We have strange vibes. So there's somebody that's watching you that got strange ass vibes. Don't ignore the strange vibes. Pay attention to it. We have time to get back out there, socialize. Something here about socializing is of significance. Maybe there's a Scorpio or a Sagittarius that wants to come towards you and get you to hang out with them or something like this. That's for some of you, not all y'all, or you are this Scorpio or this Sag. We have laugh now, laugh now, cry later. So somebody here could have been laughing at you because they, they forged your signature or they, they made something look like you did it when you didn't do it. Okay. And whatever that was, it was in order to frame you to make you look like a bad person or to in order to completely end and dead something for you okay holy spirit holy angels what's going on what do they need to hear this time we have good vibes okay so you could be someone who has real good vibes all right and somebody else got some weird ass vibes some strange vibes i also feel like somebody here could have been trying to tell people that you got strange vibes when you actually is the one with the good ass vibes Someone's attracted to your good vibes, but they got strange vibes or somebody wants to exchange your vibe. They want your vibe to be theirs and their vibe to be yours. Not happening. Please stop. Or someone's trying to figure out how you have good vibes. I don't know, chow. Holy spirit, holy angels. What's going on? Okay. Energy doesn't lie. I feel like I need to say that for some reason. We have corrupt doctor examiner. So somebody here could have um, said they examined that 
something about you when they when it when it wasn't when it wasn't true. So somebody here could have been saying, "Oh yeah, um, I'm placing judgment on so and so, and that's it. That's the truth, and that's the final fact, or whatever." And it's not true. Everyone's gonna know. There could be something here about a corrupt doc a corrupt doctor. We have jealous parent. Something here about a jealous parent could be of significance. You could be someone who's a very positive person. Maybe for some of you, you guys have somebody who's a jealous parent. Um, whether this is your parent or someone else's parent or somebody that you co-parent with that does not like your positive energy. They don't like your positive vibes. They don't like when you're in good vibration because they're not. Okay? Your good vibes irritate someone. Um okay yeah you're moving on up you're leveling up here and somebody mad about it somebody real mad they jealous they're trying to figure out to bring they're trying to figure out a way to get you to have bad vibes or something like this they want to lower your frequency we have prince of egypt okay let my people go so this person that keeps watching you with the strange ass vibes they don't want to let you go like i said but there is a great final release that's happening it doesn't matter what this person wants. The divine has spoken and this person is being released from you. Okay. It says, I tried to get you fired. Weirdo. Someone here was trying to get you fired. I feel like for some of y'all, someone has successfully got you fired at one point of your life. And they're mad because they can't get you fired with for whatever you're doing now. Fucking weirdo. Tell me more. We have check the attic. Something could be hiding in someone's attic. This could be a shrine, a voodoo doll, um, some sort of witchcraft, pagan something. I don't know. But check the attic. If you guys have one, there could be something in the attic. Or there's a corrupt doctor or examiner who's saying that you're an addict. Or claimed that you're addicted to some sort of substance. We have air signs. Someone here could be an air sign. This could be you or someone else. Okay, someone here could be an, uh, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Someone here could be moving out of state. This could be an air sign that's moving out of state. Or some sort of jealous parent could be trying to move out of state. Okay, they were laughing at one point and now they're crying because they could have forged a signature on something and now they don't want to get in trouble for it. So they're trying to go on the run. We have hometown friends are reaching out to you. Do not answer. So you got people from your past that you literally escaped from. Okay, these people want your good vibes. They want your frequency. They want to be attached to you. They want to be binded to you in some way. So you guys are going to be having people from your past that are going to just, they're just going to be popping up out of nowhere trying to reach out to you. Ew. Tell them no. Goodbye. Deuces. We have um, does things on or for the dark web. So somebody here could do something on the dark web. This could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius that does something weird on the dark web. Someone here could be dying slowly. So somebody here could be sick. Whoever whoever did something illegal, whether it was a literal forged signature that someone did, okay? Or somebody here tried to frame you to get you to look like you did something that you didn't do, whatever it is, right? This person's now dying slowly. There or there's something in their life that's dwindling or it's it's going downhill because of what they did to you. We have restraining order. Okay, so you might need to get a restraining order against someone here soon. This could be a jealous parent, a co-parent that you need a restraining order from, or somebody from your hometown you might need to get a restraining order from. We have second degree burglary. So there's somebody here that wants to reach out to you because they want to figure out something about your house. They want to know where you live or something like that. Or they want to see like the outside scenery so that they can figure out how they could steal from you they want to steal something from you second degree burglary that's five to ten it's three to six tell me more spirit we have droogs all right so something here about droogs maybe somebody sells droogs on the dark web okay or they droog people they droog them and then they i don't know maybe they post videos of them being droogged i don't know on the dark web we have changed the will or the inheritance so somebody here could have forged a signature okay something here could have been left to you in the form of a will or some sort of inheritance and you have a jealous parent that may have signed your name and got it released to them 
So this could have been money, a property, um, a home, a piece of land, something here, jewelry, I don't know. Whatever it is, somebody stole it from you by forging your signature. We have 111 on the clock. It says Divine Feminine's friend is secretly in love with her. So Divine Feminine, you have a friend that's secretly in love with you. Maybe they're not telling you or whatever. There's a bunch of people who have collaborated in order to take something from you, to steal something from you. You have a lawsuit on your hands. Okay, you're going to be able to have um, reasons to sue somebody. That's why they're trying to <clears throat> move out of town. We have 19 to 25 years old. Could have been the age group that you were in when someone cho when somebody forged a signature on a will or an inheritance. Okay, to take, to take something from you. Oh my God. Something about your photographs. And I absolutely love her when she smiles. You are gross. Whoever this person is who keeps like, they're trying to use sex magic to take energy from you. This is somebody here who's an uh, old hometown friend or something. This is someone who's constantly watching you. This is someone who's very egotistical. This is someone here who's mad because you're breaking some sort of cord or you, some sort of cord or, um, Soul tie has been released. We have hands. Somebody here. Ooh. I'm also getting like somebody wants you to hang out with them or socialize with them so that they can bait you into an argument and then you could throw hands on them. You could hit them so they could have a lawsuit and sue you. I don't know. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with an M. Or this is what somebody wants to do. They want to come in and they want to beat your ass or something. They go into jail. We have tarot card reader. So that you could be a tarot card reader or someone's definitely going and getting readings on you. Okay. They're trying to see if you're dying slowly or they're trying to see if you know about some sort of forged signature or if you know that they have a girlfriend or not. Or they could be getting readings to figure out um, if you still love them or if you're still waiting for them. I'm also getting like, this is somebody here who's going to readers and they're telling them that you two are together. Like, oh yeah, she's my girlfriend. Or this is someone's girlfriend getting readings pretending that they're you. So they can figure out what's going on in your life. Because they're afraid that their person is going to leave them and go to you or something. I don't know. Something's, someone's relationship is dying slowly. We have fake accent. Somebody here can have a fake accent. Somebody here real dangerous. Okay. Somebody planning on doing something real. Stranger danger. We have corrupt lawyers could be of significance with a corrupt doctor, examiner, lawsuit. Maybe there's a corrupt lawyer, a corrupt doctor. They're all... They're all going to be getting locked up. We got someone is not telling you something. So there's something here that someone's not telling you. It's about some sort of court case. For some of y'all, this is for some of you, not all y'all. Some of y'all, there could have been a court case that someone um, didn't tell you about or they made sure that you didn't see or, or know about it because they were trying to take something from you or they successfully did, but now they have to give it back. What is someone not telling them about some sort of breakup? Or some friend that you no longer talk to is not telling you something. Or someone's not telling you that this is the person. The reason why something is all hostile around you. For some of you, this could be your workplace or the where, where you live or whatever. Someone is behind some sort of hostile workplace. There could be somebody that you once were friends with who's behind this. Or this is somebody here that... um. Maybe this friend that you no longer talk to knows about who is actually doing it. It may not be this friend. It could be someone else. This is someone here who hates you. They're mad. They're, they're in some sort of narcissistic rage. Because they don't like that things are changing. Or they're upset because you're no longer fearful of change. They're fucking easily bothered. They mad. Somebody's mad because you're not mad. I don't know. Who is this fucking bothered weirdo? Who is this easily bothered person? This person could be a 90s baby who's easily bothered. Who's this person who's easily bothered? This is someone here who's a hothead. They have a temper. They could be upset. Okay, who's this easily bothered weirdo? They're mad because you don't talk to them anymore. This person could be someone who cooks a lot. Okay, who's this? Or they're like a, kick a kitchen witch or something like that. 
This person is kicking themselves in the butt, okay? Is another thing that I'm getting. This person can have dark skin. Who is this person who's easily bothered? This could be someone who's an 80s baby. Who's this easily bothered weirdo? This person could be a nature lover. They could have full lips. They could be blonde. Or you're blonde. Flip over needs to go. This is someone here who feels like less than. Someone could feel insecure or something like this. <sighs> They're trying to make something like uncomfortable for you. Purposely. Misery loves company. This is someone here who's not having a good time and they don't want you to have a good time either. There's there's people that know who's behind doing something weird. This person could be younger than you for a lot of y'all. Someone's a hoe. Or someone's calling you a hoe. We have no regret for crime. So somebody here has no regret for trying to take something from you. Or for working together with people to try to harm you in some way. Something here about Jerub trafficking could be of significance. We have self-reliant. You could be someone who's self-reliant. Maybe someone's going around. Maybe somebody went to court and lied on you and said that the reason why you're self-sufficient is because you're into illegal activities and your funds, where you get your funds is from an illegal source or something. Um, maybe that's how somebody knows how much money you have or something like that. Or... Or that's how someone was able to find out what your income is because they lied and said that you your income was suspicious or some shit. I don't know. This is a person who loves to complain. So you're dealing with a, a person who loves to complain who could have um, stole something from you. You could be a very stable person. Someone here could be upset about your stability. This person could be 70 years or above, okay, for some of y'all, or this is your age bracket. I don't know. Somebody somebody too old to be playing these games. I'll tell you what. What's this? We got a fickle person. You guys could be dealing with a fake, a, a fake person, a fickle person. This is somebody here who's very much jealous of you. You're dealing with a very jealous person who's always complaining about their fucking life. We have fake laugh or someone's always constantly complaining about you. Maybe someone's constantly putting complaints in about you to your workplace. Maybe this is someone you work with. They're constantly going to your boss being like, um, did you know that so-and-so did this and they did that and you need to write them up. Shouldn't you write them up? Like somebody's just a loser. Someone's a loser. Someone's also coming in to try to use you in some way. This is someone jealous. This is someone who's jealous because they can't steal your money or they're jealous because they're about to get caught up for stealing your money. Or stealing your energy or stealing something from you, child. Go home. This could be someone's girlfriend who's jealous of you. Maybe there's a, somebody in a relationship with someone and they're constantly fighting about you. They're like, oh, like this girlfriend could be really insecure. Maybe they could be like, oh, you love so and so, don't you? Da 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 da. You want to be with so and so. You want to be with the collective. You may not even, you probably don't even talk to this person. You probably haven't talked to this, you probably haven't talked, you haven't spoke to this person probably for like fucking years. Seven years, eight years, four years, 12 years, some shit like this. Six years. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's this person that's jealous of them? Can we get a zodiac sign, please? This person's a Libra. So you got a Libra here that could be someone's girlfriend who's jealous of you. Someone's first middle or last name could start with an E. Who jealous? This could be a, I think this is Virgo. You guys could have a Virgo here who's jealous of you. Or someone who's a Virgo, their girlfriend could be jealous of you. Or someone's girlfriend is the Virgo. Who is this person who's jealous of them? Libra again. You got a Libra here who's jealous. Or someone's just jealous of the fact that you're getting your justice here. Or things are balancing out for you. Or someone's just jealous because... They are in denial of the truth about you. I don't know. What? Who's jealous? We got Leo. Someone here could be a Leo who's jealous of your ass. 
okay or you're a leo and someone jealous of you baby boo what's going on who this jealous girlfriend weird ass bitch this person could be a capricorn or this person's working really hard to try to expose you so you could crash and burn but it ain't happening who is this weirdo jealous ass weird person please we have scorpio this person could be a scorpio who's jealous of you or your scorps now got doggies doggies barking outside somebody want to bark at you somebody want to argue with you we got aquarius someone here could be an aquarius who's involved in the situation or who's jealous of you or you're an, you're an aqua baby hi 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 what else do we need to know should i use these no let me use these I don't want this to be too long. Someone's trying to get you to not be independent. They want you to be reliant on them. Or somebody wants you to be reliant on this entity. Or, I don't know, somebody. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? You need to rely on the Most High, please. And thank you. Unfold your own myth. This keeps coming out. The shell. Number 12 could be very significant. It says, don't settle for other stories. Or the tales of how it went for those who took the path before you. No one has ever lived on this planet with your particular thoughts, your dreams, your school, your, your schools, your skills, or your specific genius. The magic inside of you is one of a kind. Use it to unfold the truest and most beautiful version of your life. It doesn't need to look like anyone else's magic. Just own it. Someone wants to come in and convince you that whatever your magic is, isn't magic. I don't know. We have 311 could be significant in a lot of numbers. Somebody here wants you to feel like your life isn't the way it should be lived. You should live their life, your life according to them or how they say you should live it. Somebody's a tyrant. Defy gravity. <laughs> we have... <laughs> We have Defy Gravity, whoever you are. Didn't I say that you're doing the unimaginable? Somebody here underestimated you and you're like exceeding all expectations, chow. Like you're defying gravity. Or there's going to be a situation coming towards you to where it's it's going <coughs> to it's going to be a miracle. You're going to feel like it something's wild something beautifully wild is happening the number 24 could be significant we have hummingbirds so something about your ancestors are about to usher in some sort of miracle for you because you deserve it okay we have impossible things happen every day just ask the hummingbird who is an aerodynamic impossibility a jeweled miracle so are you Every time you go beyond what has been proclaimed as possible, every time you escape the confines of should and shouldn't, every time you step beyond what is known to discover what gifts await you in, in the unknown, you are defying confines of normalcy and spreading your wings so your life can defy gravity. Now is the time to think in terms of the impossible becoming I'm possible. You're po you are capable of whatever you put your mind to, child. Anything is possible. So like I was saying in the beginning of the read with the energy that I've been picking up, how the reality of right now of this world is very malleable. It, it, it seems very fragile. You are in a situation right now, a place in your life where you could mold your reality to whatever you want it to be. Right now, you have the ability to create, achieve, accomplish the impossible. Why? Because you believe that things are possible for you, okay? Or you need to step into that energy, chow. Hot diggity dang. Do you see this? Don't allow your past to define 
what you're capable of or what your life is, uh, you know, the path of your life is possible or what's possible, what's not possible based on some past bullshit. Okay. Um, should I do the shells? Let me do these real quick. I love this. This is really good. This is like awesome. Okay. This is the story of a girl. Child. Something about your story is going to be very inspirational to people. Or God is using you to, to inspire others. Okay. To go after their dreams and goals and, and to have faith. Okay. Something like that is going on, baby. Tell me more. We have sent in you dark spirits or demons to work against you, to trick you. So listen, something about intrusive thoughts are significant or somebody here is definitely trying to send you some sort of negative thoughts or I don't know, someone trying to get you to do something, chow. Be mindful of this. Maybe you guys need to cleanse your home. Do something. You need to pray. You need to do something. Do something a little different. We have the person or you need to, you need to speak upon your life okay and 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 ask god to really remove any of these dark spirits or demons and rebuke them okay it says the person causing you negativity is an air sign so you guys are dealing with a libra you guys are dealing with a gemini you guys are dealing with an aquarius that's trying to send dark spirits or demons to work against you it says causing drama and fights in your love connections and friendships someone here's trying to cause fights and drama in your life so to why to keep you in this trauma filled cycle of bullshit of sadness tell me more spirit what else is going on someone doesn't want you to have love we have glamour magic someone here could be trying to get other people to view your vibration as strange this is what i'm getting someone here could be trying to do some sort of magic on you some sort of glamour spell so that people could feel like you're you have strange vibes when you actually have good vibes why? Because they're a jealous weirdo. Tell me more. <laughs> we have hating on your body image and your exercise routine. So somebody doesn't like that you're healthy. They don't like that you're healthy. They don't like that your body's in good shape. They don't like that you take the time to really work on yourself and care for your body. Put yourself together. Somebody don't like it. Somebody doesn't like that you're out here choosing to eat eat right. I don't know. Maybe somebody wants you to overeat because I said that I overate yesterday. So I don't know. That could be significant. It says beware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. So yeah, you need to be weary of people from your past that want to come back in. They're only coming back in to cause drama or fights in your love connections if you're already in one or to cock block a love connection for you or try to get you to lose out on certain friends. I don't know. It says causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions, mood swings. Someone here is trying to get you to get all moody. That's the type of demons that they're sending you in dark spirits is to get you to be all moody, to get your emotions to be like cleanse your home. We have causing you to lose your appetite. Someone here definitely could be trying to get you to lose your appetite, I guess. I don't know. Or your your energy. Someone's trying to drain your energy. Okay? They're trying to get you to be not motivated to do things. Not to take certain actions. Not to take certain steps. Someone here is trying to get you from being someone who's very disciplined to someone who's indisciplined. Like you're not... Um, Someone's trying to throw you off course. Basically, continue staying disciplined. Whatever routine you have going on. Whatever, however you set up your life. Okay? Continue doing that. Someone's trying to get you to get off course. That's basically what it's giving. We have jealous of your material lifestyle, your homes, your cars, your clothes, whatever. Someone's jealous of this. I'm also getting like, this is another reason why somebody's trying to get you to like... Like I was saying before, yesterday I was feeling like I wanted to go live in my kitchen or I wanted to, you know, I don't know, whatever. Somebody here wants to see what you have so they could be, they could evil eye it. That's what it's giving. Somebody wants you to expose more about what you got going on, your life, what you have, what you don't have, so they could evil eye it. Get a life. Get a life. Get a life. Get a life, get a life, get a life, get a life. It says unhealthy obsession with you. Someone has an unhealthy obsession with you. They can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, child. That's them. Tell me more. 
I'm also getting someone realizing that they can't stop you. Like, get it through their fucking skull. It says they are turning others against you. Someone here is going around trying to turn other people against you. This is an air sign. It says causing you to miss out and lose an opportunity. This is what somebody doing because they're jealous of you. And then we have neighborhood drama. It says one or some of your neighbors really don't like you. Fake smiles, small talk. Lame. They have a weird, you have a neighbor that has a weird, unhealthy obsession with you. They're trying to send you dark entities. Especially if you guys live in like a communal type of situation, you need to cleanse your home on a daily basis because this person's purposely sending things to you. I also feel like this neighbor who has an un unhealthy obsession with you, they could be trying to listen to what you're doing through your walls. Like they could have their ear up to the wall or down at the floor to try to figure out what you got going on or at the vent. Get a life, please. This could be someone who drives a pickup truck, who your neighbor is, that has a weird obsession with you, trying to send you entities, or this person has an entity on them. This could be someone who has a sex addiction or some sort of uh, substance abuse problem. We have um, short. This could be someone who's short. This could be someone who has olive skin. This could be somebody here who has, uh, what's it called? They're a blue collar worker. They could work with their hands. It could be like a construction worker or something, a plumber or somebody. Um, we have Pisces. This person could be a Pisces or this person's trying to come up with a creative way to send some sort of entity to you or trying to trick you in some way. This person could have a pixie cut. They could have short hair, whoever this neighbor is. This person's upset about your swag, okay? They don't like the fact that you you have you have Riz or something. Maybe <laughs> Maybe you have Riz that this person don't have. I don't know. Who knows? But we got um, loner, okay? So this is somebody here who's lonely or this is some one of your gang stalkers is your neighbor. They're definitely targeting you. We have Sagittarius or this neighbor has a gang stalker having you be stalked. Does this make sense? Someone here is trying to get throw off your swag or something or your confidence. You're, I don't, someone jealous of go ass, who cares? You're protected. Remember that. You are protected. There's nothing that this weirdo can do. They're weaker than you. That's why they have to team up. Like little weak bitches. Tell me more. What they need to hear. Something about nine days. Brute work. Someone. Seek someone to help you with a protection spell. You need to, um boost up your protection at this time nine days i want to figure out what that's about real quick before we keep going because <clears throat> dang did you see that the ace of swords and the will of fortune some sort of truth is going to be coming out it's going to um this is your good karma your dharma for some sort of truth to come out or some sort of truth to be spoken and it's going to lead to some sort of good fortune or great fortune for you what's happening in nine days justice so in nine days you're gonna be receiving your justice baby boo you see that you're gonna be getting some sort of justice here this is the story of a girl cried a river and drowned the whole world she looks so sad in photographs i absolutely love her when she left. <laughs> we have nine of wands we have seven of pentacles Continue holding up your boundaries here. You've been through a lot, child. The divine has seen you put in the hard work. They've seen where you invested your time and your energy, and you're about to get justice, okay? And somebody else, all these other people who are working together to try to get you to be weakened in some way and to put you through a lot of trauma, all these people who work together, they're going to go into poverty, spiritual poverty or real pro poverty, okay? Okay. Or they're like I said, they're gonna or they're gonna be released indefinitely from your energy. That is your justice. Maybe this is happening in nine days, but maybe that's why someone's doing root work on you. Because they want to stay binded to you or something. We have they secretly keep tabs on your every move. Somebody is constantly keeping tabs on everything you do. They could possibly have a neighbor. 
who's watching everything you do. If you guys live in an apartment building and you start feeling like someone keeps walking in every room that you walk in, it's possibly because someone's watching you. Okay, tell me more. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or every time you leave your home, your the house uh, across from you or on the side of you, you have a neighbor that's always walking outside. It's not for no reason. Truman Show. Truman Show. And you need to remember, these people, for a lot of them, they just have entities that are jumping into them. It's not really, it's not like your neighbors. It's the entity. Does this make sense? So the person causing you negativity could be an earth sign. So you guys can have an earth sign that's trying to cause you negativity that keeps tabs on you every day, child. Or, or this is the person who's doing root work on you. We have they mock you when they feel jealousy towards you. So someone feels jealousy towards you. They could be mocking you. This person who's doing root work on you. It says haters are mad because they see you winning. So you out here winning, baby. Everyone could see it. Somebody mad about it. They're trying to put out your light. It says alternating your values and morals on making life decisions. Somebody here wants you to make an unhealthy decision. There could be an earth sign here who's trying to come in and get you to um have sex with them or something. It says seek someone to perform or to learn to do a hex breaking ritual. So someone's definitely trying to hex you because they know you're about to get justice here. It says hate tweets towards you. Petty birds tweet tweets. So someone's sending some weird ass um hateful ass comments why because they're a loser it says someone is doing black magic or juju work on you so someone's doing magic on you because they see that you're winning and they're trying to see you fall and it ain't gonna happen somebody wants to see you sad someone's doing black magic to where you could lose out on something so they could just see you sad like someone wants this, the satisfaction of seeing you sad or to see or they want to have the satisfaction of, why am i saying they're wrong they want to have they want to have the pleasure of knowing that they harmed you in some way by using magic. But their magic is weak. We have, they are recruiting haters. So someone's out here recruiting hater, haters. You guys could benefit from burning some Palo Santo at this time. Because someone's trying to send you a lot of negative energy. But you are protected, baby boo. Yeah, your dreams are coming true. Something's coming true for you. Someone's going to have to watch you live ever, happily ever after, and they don't want to. They don't want to. They don't have to watch. It's my question. Why are they watching? They don't have to watch. But maybe the divine is going to make sure this person witnesses you moving on and finding true love and building a new life for yourself and be with someone who's actually compatible instead of, you know, being put on the shelf for somebody or whatever. This is someone who wanted you to be waiting for them forever. It says blocked blessings. It says ruined manifestations failed. This is someone's karma is that their blessings are being blocked. And now they worry. We have down to earth. Someone here is getting knocked off their pedestal. This is what somebody wanted to happen to you though. Somebody felt like you were someone who was having a big head or somebody was trying to say that you're being arrogant because now you have self-confidence. Now that you have, now that you're certain about who you are, your life purpose, where you're headed, somebody confused that with arrogance, with ego. But really, this is just someone's way to try to destroy you. They're going to get humbled. This is, this is an egotistical person who's getting humbled, okay? We have domestic violence could be of significance. Some sort of DV charge could be significant. Maybe someone's going to be end up getting... The police called on them. You guys could be seeing 911. We have home issues. Someone here could be having home issues because they wanted you to have home issues. Maybe home repairs. Maybe the rent will be increased. I don't know. Or someone wanted you to have issues with your neighbors and now their, their neighbors are going to be having issues. Something about an eviction could be a significance. We have on repeat. Lesson not learned. Someone here is continuously not learning their lesson. 
when it comes to being humble or when it comes to doing things out of their ego, out of a place of ego. This is someone here who's unable to see their own faults. They're very stuck mentally. Look, it says, look, there's a light bulb. This is someone here who's very stuck mentally. They're missing the point. They lack common sense. They, this is someone here who this is someone here who's going to be trapped in a karmic cycle. Then they're, they're not going to be freed from this. And someone's mad because you're okay without them. They want you to be sad without them, but you're not sad. Okay? They're going to be sad though. Someone here might end up getting a, a DV charge with their girlfriend or something. I don't know. They acting rowdy. I was going to do the shells. No, I'm going to do them. It's just going to be short. It's going to be shorter. Okay, this is going to be loud. <laughs> Someone here could be 43 or 34. Someone here could be born in 83, 84, 82, 86. The number 44 could be significant. You are lovable and you are deserving of love. Okay, someone here could be a master number 11. We have the angel number 144. We also have 444. We have 414. We have 411. 311, 211. 811, 818. 808 could be significant. Someone here could be a life path 5. And then we have 111. You guys could be seeing that number a lot. Something. We got bam. Something's going to happen like very quickly or out of nowhere for somebody. Bam. Okay. Someone's name could be Anthony or Antoine or Antonio. This could be your name or someone else's name. Or there's something going on with someone's aunt or aunt. Someone's name could be Tim. Someone's name could be Tam. Someone's name could be Ty. Somebody wants you to be the main, their main person. I don't know. Or something about Main Street. Someone's name could be Mia. Or someone here is missing in action. Someone's name could be Tia. Or something here about someone's aunt is significant. Someone's name could be uh, Naomi. Something about someone's mama could be significant. Mama! I just killed a man. Maybe someone's going to do something bad. Oh, Lord. Someone could be in a toxic ass relationship. This could be like the karmic couple. It's going to end badly. Someone's going to end up shooting the other person. Someone's name could be Tina. Pull the trigger, now he's dead, mama. Life has just begun. Someone here could be an MA fighter, MMA fighter. Or this is someone here who's constantly wanting to fight and put their hands on people. They're about to get in trouble. The law is about to get involved. Mama. Oh. We got Zima. Zima. Zim Zima. Zim Zima. We got Job or Job. For some of you, you guys could have experienced like a Job-like situation, like Job in the Bible. You guys could have lost a lot and then you're about to gain a lot. Okay? So they hear about a test of faith. Something here about um, your love for God. Being unwaveable, unshakable. Okay? You're going to be getting... Um, rewarded for this mimosas someone here could drink a lot of mimosas or something or for some of you you're about to get some sort of job offer um someone here's like a a nurse practitioner or something like this 
or a nursing assistant. This could be you or someone else. Someone's name is Aston or Austin. Someone's name is Ash. Someone's name is Sam. Someone here could be a Mason or someone like works with making bricks or something. They could work with their hands for a job. I don't know. This could be you or someone else. Someone's name is Maddie or Matt. Mata. Mata. My yacht. Something here about my yacht could be significant. Something about your vision. There's a need for you to hold on to your vision here. Okay, or there's someone here that's trying to cloud your vision. Someone's name is Jamie. Or Jameson. Someone here could be drinking a lot of James Jameson or something like that. Someone's name is Valerie. Someone's name could be Alma. Someone's name is Tom. Something about someone's son is significant. Someone's name is Jason. We got Jason here. We have James. Someone's name could be James. Something about your anointing someone here is upset about. Someone's name could be Mona. Melanoma. Someone here could have melanoma. Something here about a moth. Someone here could be seeing a lot of moths. Or something here about mothballs are significant. Someone here could be... What is that called when... Um, like reptilians or rep reptiles are like molting? Yeah, it's called molting, right? Where they're shedding their skin or something like that. Someone here could be shedding their skin or... I don't know. Something like that is going on. Fatal. Something is final. Or something will be fatal. Or something here about fatal attraction is significant. Someone's name could be John. about a box someone's name is um sienna or something someone's last name could be solis something about botox is significant someone's name could be aj or something about Ajax. Maybe someone needs to clean their house. Someone's name is Anna. Leanna. Lana. Minyana. Tomorrow. Something about tomorrow. Significant. Someone here could be a jock. They could play sports or something. This could be you or them. Um, someone's name is Max, Maxine, Max, Maximilian. Someone could drive a van. Someone's name could be Vanessa. Someone's name could be Vince.
Muy mal. Something could be really bad. Thomas. Okay, I don't know. Something about Star Wars is significant. Jabawaki. I don't know. I don't know. I have. I didn't. I haven't watched. I haven't watched Star Wars. Something about Nashville is significant. Sylvia. Someone's name is Sylvia. Someone's name is Zane. Zach. Someone here could be German. Something about a Nazi. Someone here could be like a tyrant or something. I don't know. I'm going to end it. Or s I'm going to be quiet. Someone could be like a neo-Nazi or something. You guys hear the sirens? I don't know about y'all, but the last two days I've been hearing lots of sirens, like lots of sirens. So I don't know if this means like, something's happening, I don't know. Tell me more, what's happening? Like there's like a warning. We have three, 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 three. It says the problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on your life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality and don't let your ego get the best of you. Ciao. You got it. You're about to get liberated. Tell me more. You're being liberated. We have 1919 cycles you're being liberated liberated from a weird ass karmic toxic ass cycle it says karma will be paying you a visit release the need to control because you cannot force things learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future make some space for new experiences out with the old and with the new get that broom and sweep things out we got 1224 it says taking initiative it says work with what you have and it will get you places count your blessings and acknowledge your dear ones you will find inspiration and figure out a way forward you might also be getting some sort of good news soon baby boo you're gonna be getting good news soon all right listen y'all i love you this is gonna be the end of your reading until next time bye